I felt unhappy with functions and not at home with them until I started programming when I was a graduate student. As soon as I started programming, a function was just a box, you gave it one thing and it gave you back something else. I'm not happy with things until I understand them. And what I mean by understanding them, I think it's the same as what Feynman meant. You could build one. In philosophy, um, there's no difference between something sounding really good and something being good. There's no empirical test. In science, something can sound completely loopy, um, like acceleration is gravity, um, and yet it can turn out to be true. McCarthy was saying, look, um, anything you can compute, you can compute with symbolic operations. So what we're doing must be right. And Lighthill was saying, basically, yes, but you've no idea how the brain does that, which is the only vice we know that can think. And um, you've no idea whether this way of doing it is efficient. Um, now, retrospect, at the time, everybody in AI in Britain was outraged that AI was now going to go through hard times because Sir James Lighthill didn't believe in it. Um, I now think Lighthill was entirely correct. On the whole, I was much more interested in making it solve problems like speech recognition and object recognition, which the psychologists weren't really doing very effectively. So I was interested in doing machine learning with it. Um, and the psychologists weren't really pushing that agenda. After backpropagation yes. had been rediscovered by Dave Rommelhart and he and I and various other people had shown it could do interesting things in terms of learning representations. Um, there was a surge of interest oh. which then died out within computer science because it didn't work as well as we'd hoped. But in psychology people stayed interested in it. So it had a home in psychology and there was always support for these ideas in psychology. Mm -hmm.